satisfied. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Read verse 8 if you are a child of God in the house. Want to know? friendly of yours. Say you are included. Amen. Our Father, we thank you because your word is true. Bless your word and your word is already blessed. Amen. Bless the hearers and let no man go with the mentality they can. Change us for good. Increase our capacity. Prepare us for what is to come. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. I said, Dominic, let me hear your real amen. amen. If you're a child of God in the house, lift your hand and let me hear your amen. amen. Let me hear your living amen. amen. We're looking at this morning of what I call. Let me tell somebody, say, I'm not going to lose the faith. 
in here with us. I say, I'm not going to lose the faith. Say it one more time. Say, I'm not going to lose the faith. Say it like you mean it. Say, I'm not going to lose the faith. No, I want you to say it until you know you say it yourself. I'm not going to lose the faith. Because I know where I'm coming from. Where you're coming from. And where I'm coming from is not the same place. We may be in the same classroom. But we're not writing the same exam. See that? What am 
from the furnace of fire. Why? Why will Jehovah allow us after the furnace to make us who we want to be? Why? All your discomforts are understandable. But you know where you're going to. And that's why I tell young people, don't rush into relationship because you say, I love her. I love him. His nose is high. His eyes sexy. He has a good leg. Whether that old leg go or care leg go. Don't go into relationship because he's short, fat, tall. No! These things will fade with time. You will see why you thought you love all of a sudden. The dynamics of life will make you change your mind. Come on now, come on now. And there are people who have ever said, I will never be with this kind of thing. All of a sudden, that's what you begin to love. Come on now. So you see, the dynamics of life don't make it a permanent statement over temporary issues. But you know the value of where you're going. Do you know the value of what you're pursuing? It is the value of what you are pursuing that makes you hold yourself, that determines your tenacity. Okay, give it up. It's not because people have not talked you down. It's not because people will not talk you down. It's not because you have never felt discouraged. Jesus, the Son of the living God, when he was on his way to glorification, the Bible said three times he besought his father and said, Daddy, please take this car. Daddy, send the horse. Let me not go through this road of God. Let me go to another way. When the Bible says his father, he can give it to it. So one thing to give up is not a sin. That is giving up, that is a sin. Did you hear what I said? So don't bite yourself so hard this morning that you never thought of giving up. It's alright, but you didn't give up. So Jesus wanted to give up. And he besought his father. Now the cocoa is this. Someone said the cocoa is this. But the quiet on me this morning. He said, Not my will. That's your will. When you come to life, when it is not how you feel, it is how it feels. When you come to life, when it is not about how you feel, that determines your actions. It's not emotionally driven. Emotions will switch. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Emotions will do what? Will switch. It's not my will. Bend your will. Why? Because they have value for what is good enough. Do you have a value for your commitment? That relationship, where do you weigh it? What is the weight? Your relationship with your spouse. Will turn against you at a certain time of life. Did you hear what I said? Yes. At a certain point in life, you feel so confused. Paul, the apostle, the writer of the scripture, he said, felt like you. Let me say the other day, when I saw the, sorry, see that, please. So when I saw the prosperity of the what of the weekend, I felt like giving up. He said, but when I see, when I look and saw the end, I compare it with the value of what I'm pursuing. Do you know where you're going? The reason why some people will leave church. Because somebody matched them. It's because of no value. The reason why somebody said they are not coming to their church again is because nobody called me. 
He prayed for people's business and they work. He teach others to pass the exam and they pass it as well as you. He said, and then I beseech you, Christ. Sir, take away this chain. Why can't we bring in joy to others? And be going home crying on my pillow. I can't be making life pleasurable to others. And everybody that comes by me makes life frustrating. Take away this thing. Lord, I've been an encouragement to others to make their marriage come through. That no one is helping me. Take away this. The Bible said this light of affliction. Say, Baba, did you call it light? That's what the Bible called it. He said, this light of affliction, this thing you're going through now. It's not to be compared to what you see if you wait till the end. I will wait till I see my change come. I will wait until my end come. I will wait until I know what is written concerning it. I will wait until I read the last page of destiny. There's something written about you. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, if you believe me, say I believe you. I believe you. There is a signature over your destiny. It is not signed by man. It is signed by the Alpha and the Omega. If he has been Alpha, wait until you see the Omega. Yes. Hey, those of you here, let me hear let me know whether you will hear me. If he became the Alpha and he started with you, did you hear what I said? What well, don't you be patient and see the Omega part of him? The Omega part of him does not come in the middle of the day. It doesn't come on the midway. It doesn't come on the wrong way. It comes on the line. Oh my goodness. Did you hear what I said? Until you endure. By his father. And his father said to him, Never you for any reason give up on this land. In the little hearts upon the land. He said, Eat anything, but don't give up on this land. They don't have you. Frustration came. Men mock him. Everybody mock him.
Wait for you to keep the faith for God's two more and you can never back in. What shall separate us from the love of God? Shall famine, tribulation, troubles, and trials of life? Why are you giving too soon, up too soon for what God gave you? It's not working today, it doesn't mean it won't work. To not understanding each other today doesn't mean you will not understand each other. The issue first is that may God bring us together.
It's a black or white colored church. It's not for the give ups. It's not for the bad weeks. It's not for the bitters. It is for them that can not wait. It is for them that have the propensity to hold on. I'm a child of God. Tell God. I know the value of what I'm pursuing. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. I'm not waiting. I defy the heart of quitting. I defy the heart of quitting. I defy the heart of quitting. Somebody open your mouth and talk to God. I'm not hearing you. Right to God. Oh, 